Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. I've, uh, been up to a few things since we've last met. Did a couple of Providence Trials, even got gold on some of these, although it was insultingly easy. These two, I even got, like, without even realizing it on, like, on, like my first try. That was, that was how easy it was. Uh... This one was a bit trickier, but mostly because the goddamn gups wouldn't behave right. But anyways. Uh. Okay, let's- I've, oh yeah, I also unlocked the, uh, aerobatics stuff for that sweet, sweet wave dashing. But we're not going to be doing that today. I was also playing around with her. Uh, a bit. Didn't like her. Anyways, I'm not gonna, uh, instead we are going to be doing something I talked about last time, something I was foreshadowing, something I was working towards. I uh, I also got uh, the, the uh, it's like those using those artifacts that we obtained, and also one I obtained off screen, artifact of kin. I remember that I couldn't. I couldn't quite remember the time, but this was the fourth artifact that I was thinking of. Very important, so you don't get fucking quadruple overloading magma worm, and that's not an exaggeration! Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be rolling out as Bandit. Why Bandit? Because Artifact of Glass. I feel like that's a bit self-explanatory, you know? Lights out. Plus, smoke bomb, especially when coming with lights out, is is one of the best survivability thingamajigs in the game. As long as we keep up the crowbar count using our command, we can ensure that we can one-shot basically anything that walks on this earth, or pet on this Petricor Five, rather. Now, the artifact of honor, for some of you, it, that might strike some of you as a bit counterproductive, because of course. It makes all enemies elites, and elites have way, have way more health than regular enemies. Oh, how little you know, dear viewer. This, more than any of the rest, will be the key to our power. Really, I'm not even sure gla uh, the artifact of glass is entirely necessary, but hey, it makes it more interesting. So, let's roll out, shall we? Alright, ooh! Alright, because I, I did like, Artifact of Kin, it makes it so that only a single type of enemy can spawn every stage. I think I, I got was pretty much the best, the Lemurian. I ground an enemy without any... Any special talents, just a nice, reliable thing. And here we go. The run really starts once we get that first uncommon item. The thing- the item that will... <sighs> it will make the entire run. It will... It will be focusing on the entire time. Just as soon as we Just you went. Oh yeah, I've, and I've been trying to get used to the, uh... Zoomed out view, because it just gives you so much more information, you know? A bit harder to actually see the details, mind, but... Alright, here we go. Alright. Ow. Oh. God damn it! Alright, then. One time I actually wanted to get an uncommon item. Well, whatever. Ceremonial Dagger is fantastic with Artifact of Glass. I mean, it sort of has to be, you know? Like, a lot of the, uh... A lot of on-kill effects sort of have to be incredible with Artifact of Glass, or they'd be rubbish without it. Aside from, uh, healing stuff. That's kind of hit or miss. I mean, it's like... On the plus side, uh, you know, 
I mean, healing will be a lot more effective because it's unaffected because it's unaffected by artifact of glass because it's not because it's not based off of your max HP or anything. On the other on the other side, well, you're gonna be one shot by most things. Now this wouldn't be the case potentially in the future, except that they except that I tested it and yes. Unfortunately, they did, in fact, remove that ridiculously overpowered combo of where Infusion was completely unaffected by Artifact of Glass. Tragically, that is no longer a thing. <laughs> they ripped out that... That strategy, those bastards. That could be useful. And for that, I shall be having words with those damnable developers. Those words being... Uh, being something along the lines of you and fuck. And not necessarily in that order. Ah! Oh yeah, here's another thing, unaffected by, uh, by artifact of glass, sort of. Barrier. There's these things, that, which are, which is basically, basically overheal from TF2. Except it's, except it's based on, uh, except you can get up to your max HP rather than just up to half of your max HP. So... Yeah, the things that grant you barrier are unaffected by it. What, however, what is affected by it, sort of, is your max barrier, which, as I said, is well, it's not exactly based off of your max HP. It's a bit more complicated than that. <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah, glorious to see. But yeah, the uh. It's more based off of the, si the total size of your, you know, health bar, which is mostly based off of your uh, max HP. There's also the other things that aren't technically part of your max HP, which do affect it. And I'm go and once I get another uncommon item, uh, that was a terrible item. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. There doesn't seem to be a. There doesn't seem to be a single uncommon item in this entire. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that and tell me there's a god! Oh hey, an uncommon item. <laughs> that was. Beautiful. Anyways. Uh. Anyways. So yes, here is the item that will be the key to our destiny. 56 Landlady Fucking Leaf Clover. Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! If you're paying attention, you know exactly why that's so important. But, for those of you a little slower, or who didn't see what it did, because they were looking away at the time, and, and for, those, for people like that, sit down and shut up and watch the damn video. Uh, but yeah, it gives, makes it so that all elite enemies have a chance of dro of dropping an item when you kill them. And since all enemies are elite, and I have command, which allows me to, to select what items I get, 
Meaning that I can just have all, or at least most of my uncommon items that drop for those enemies be more le 56 leaf clovers, giving me... Wow, Lemurians again, what are the odds? They're giving me even more chance to drop... Uh, giving me even more chance to drop items, giving me even more clovers, and so on and so forth. Yeah. You start to see why I was so fucking hyped about this. Of course, without uh, infusion, you have to be, get a bit more creative to avoid just dying horribly as, as soon as something even looks in your direction. And frankly, a sane man would have probably just uh, would have probably just not even bothered with uh, artifact of glass and just gone for. I don't know, a shit ton of pro- uh, an even larger shit ton of crowbars. But... I've never been described as a sane man. Quite the opposite, in fact. As you'd probably- as, as you'd probably agree if you- Heard the things that people were calling me insane for? Such as my unabashed and unapologetic support of cannibalism and incest. But that's besides the point. If nothing else, I'm at least sane enough to roll out with Artifact of Kin so I don't get Goddamn quadruple overloading magma worm that can one-shot me as soon as it comes near me. All right, so maybe I wasn't, maybe I wasn't always this same, uh, that same. To me, I've at least learned from my mistakes. Oh no. Even with all my power, fucking overloading assholes still strike fear into me. Uh, uh, I had to learn. Uh, I had to learn like a lot of trigger discipline to succeed with this strategy because when you've got when you've got the high, you've got enough uh, soldier syringes to uh, to. Make, make it so that the, uh, to reduce the charge time on the, on lights out, and you're, you know, constantly resetting the cooldown, it can be really easy to wind up just pressing it, like, one too many times and wasting your shots. Because everyone's already dead. So if they keep spawning like this, I won't even need to press lights out. Anyway, so I'm just going around trying to grab whatever chests I can find, like so. And s but soon, soon, chests will mean nothing to me. Aside from perhaps proccing uh, fireworks, I suppose, once I grab some of those. Shit. One of the problems with ceremonial daggers is that they can, they can occasionally cuck you out of the. Uh... See, see what I mean about the about trigger discipline. Important skill to learn. Yeah. How the fuck do I get over there? Hmm. Ah, damn. Hot pilot can do that easy, but I'm not pilot. Ah. 
I got this. This is a good, this is a really good item in, uh, Risk of Rain 1. Absolutely terrible in Risk of Rain 2, though. I mean, it's astonishingly terrible. It's straight... It is, in a lot of ways, straight up worse than it is in Risk of Rain 1. And it's a rare item instead of an uncommon item. What the fuck were they thinking? Jesus Christ. But yeah, like most uh, proc on kill effects, it's going to be quite good with this strategy. Oh wow! <laughs> so many random crates all over the place. Some places I haven't even gone yet. Anyways, grab this. Wait, no! Maybe I should have, uh. Oops. That's pretty useless. Uh, I should have uh, grabbed the, uh... Oh, what was it called? The uh, Troton Jetpack. That might have been able to get me across that gap. And not to mention it's a damn good item. Man, if these ceremonial daggers actually stuck around, I'm not certain if I would even need to be here. It seems like they can exactly kill one enemy. <laughs> See? Or maybe even slightly more than that. <laughs> Alright, I need to find a nice, uh... I need to find a better arena to be fighting these guys in. Now is a good time to be, to be investing in, like, mobility and survivability stuff. Because I can very clearly kill these guys very easily. That's the nice thing about Artifact of Glass, is that you really don't need to be investing too much in to direct damage. That being said... Barbed wire is a really good item. Well, kind of. As I said before, it's barbed wire is perhaps the best. Oh wait, a, wait a second. What was I thinking? It's perhaps the best stacking item in the game because ev because every single additional stack of it uh, will. Increase increases damage by a decent chunk, and increase its radius <laughs> infinitely. And that that means once you get like fucking a hundred of them or whatever, you can uh, it'll get to the point. Oh shit! Where you will. And this is no exaggeration, be killing enemies before they even... Before you even see them. Your barbed wire will extend past the edges of the screen. And be doing so much damage that it just one-shots everything. Barbed wire normally isn't very effective. Uh, very Barbed wire doesn't normally combo well with uh, with crowbars, but with <laughs> but if you have enough of them, oh yes, it does. Oh, just barely. I need to put it. This is not the best of arenas for this, is it? I prefer somewhere a bit flatter. I don't have to constantly be jumping around like I'm in a jungle gym. Ooh. Hmm. 
especially since the Elder Lemurians don't exactly have any projectiles. So yeah. So yeah, seeing as we have the, uh... See, seeing as we have that, uh... Have the whole 56 Leaf Clover stuff going already. I think we're going to be sticking around here for a while. Especially since we got such a good role with the Lemurians. The, the Lemurians are pretty much the platonic ideal of enemies to fight in this run. They don't have any weird tricks outside of the usual uh, elite creature stuff. They have low base damage, which means that the that all those uh, weird elite enemy tricks will, have, will be less likely to annihilate all of my barrier and shield in one go. I fortunately can't can't really be one shot because the shield is spongy, you know. But I can be two shot. Uh. And, oh yeah, and they don't and they don't have any annoying stuff like flying or or some shit. And no projectiles. Again, besides the ones that the elite stuff does. They're perfect. I, I was considering myself really unlucky that I didn't get the uh, 56 Leaf Clover last one because I was like, oh wow, Lemurians, oh, but I can't stay and farm them because I don't have the, the Clover. And then I got a Clover on the next one and, what do you know, it had Lemurians too. This is like, ideal luck. That being said, I'm not sure that this luck is exactly conducive to interesting content. I might just do a fucking time lapse or something. <laughs> or not time lapse, but like I might just speed this up a bit. of getting a uh, item or anyways uh, what was I talking about again sorry I got distracted by something anyways some uh you guys ever, you guys ever read this uh, one author, Molobod? Uh, that's not my description. That doesn't exactly tell you what the guy's name is. That's a difficult name to actually spell. Uh, so yeah, you like a read a fan fiction and such. Just kind of got this fact by a notification that some fan fiction of his uh, had. Finally, finally updated after God knows how long. So, you know, it's, it's, it's some good stuff. You know, I write fanfiction myself too. Yeah, and somehow I have somehow I have better 
uh, better up uh, more uh, quicker uploads than him when it comes to the fan fiction. Even though it took me like a good week after uploading a story, uh, a chapter, to even begin working on another one for one of my fan fictions. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one of my one of my fan fictions, good old surface truths. What I've been what I've been ruminating on for a while now. It's based off the based off the general premise that the that the. Uh, that the No Mercy run of Undertale, what people call the Genocide run, although it's actually called No Mercy run, look it up. Uh, but yeah, that run is in fact based. <laughs> Red pilled, even. <laughs> it's a bit more than that. There's a little bit more to it than that. Uh, and it sort of ballooned out into something more complicated as I, as I wrote it, but yeah, that's the general idea, <laughs> the general idea I started with, because I'm, as, as you might be aware, a contrarian, which doesn't mean, which, which of course doesn't mean that I'm just, you know, disagreeing for the sake of disagreeing, no, what, what it means is that I, <laughs> Is that I'm- that when someone... Essentially, what it means at its, at its core is that when someone tells me this thing is this way and it always is, my first uh, re reaction is, Alright, can uh, under what circumstances would it not be that thing? <laughs> and to ponder, like, is it actually ever that thing even? You know. The point is to not to disagree with everything, but to question everything. And I've been questioning the narrative of Undertale for a while now, and I've... Or at least the narrative that people usually take from it. And... I have found it wanting. So, I decided... Well... Since everyone else seemed to be so hyped up on it, well, if the mountain will not come to Buddha, Buddha will go to the mountain. So I decided to step foot into the fandom, so to speak. Though I'd never describe myself as a fan of anything. And create my own bit of... Uh, my own work. One that wouldn't just be a... Well, that wouldn't just be, like, propaganda. That wouldn't simply be propaganda from my point of view, but an actual... An actual well-written work of art in itself that simply puts forth... That simply puts forth the idea that maybe there's another perspective to this. That maybe it's worth considering the idea that what that the morality of Undertale isn't... Th th that shouldn't be taken as gospel. That, that it's flawed. That there are legitimate alternative perspectives, so to speak. Or something like that. Even that is like even though I agree, even though I might agree with the like the idea that maybe that the the main character in the uh, oh yeah hermit's car. Why haven't I been getting loads of those? That sounds really useful. Anyway, that, that even though I agree with the idea that the uh, protagonist of the No Mercy Run is genuinely 
justified for various reasons. Uh, or at least m most of what he does is justified. Uh, I'd rather... The point of the Famicom is not to simply tell you that this is the way it is. But rather to walk you... Rather to... Give you the perspective of some of of someone in that circumstance, someone who uh, that does believe that. That he, uh, but even he himself has his own doubt. So, well, you get the idea. I've been rambling a bit too much about that. Not like there's much to say at the moment. I'm just. Running around killing Lemurians. <laughs> More like Lemurians. Oh. I think the next uh, Uncommon Animal Grit will, will be in Fusion. It's obviously not nearly as good as it is it was in Risk of Rain 1, but. I'd say it's probably worth taking anyway, since I'm going to be killing so many people, you know. With an ass's jawbone, I have made asses of them. With an ass's jawbone, I have slain a thousand men. And of course, we're going for the all-important barbed wire. Look at that. See that little secondary circle around me? That's the range of the barbed wire now, not the little... Everyone that it gets. Yeah. The longer very uh, Joe Bob remains in amongst the Lemurians, the more powerful he becomes. Aha! Here we go. Now, infusion. Honestly, I prefer the old model. So, yeah, that'll. If you get all infusion, we'll. Slowly increase my HP. Indeed, if I get to the point where I can get like 10 of them. No, actually, I think it would take like 18 of them. This is the way this stacking works. And then I'll be at the level of oh, that one infusion put me at in the original game. Yay! Uh, the nice thing about Lemurians being so lame is I don't have to worry about. Diverting some of my resources into things like survivability or damage. Well, not many of them, anyways. Ooh. Um. What do I grab? What do I grab? What do I grab? All right. This. I unlocked that on one of my failed attempts on this run. For the for this one, where I. Uh, Is, I, which is unlocked by uh, managing to finish a teleporter thing with no with no enemies out left in the, on the on the level, which was pretty tricky because enemies tended to spawn like a second before the teleporter event ended. Already on difficulty, I see you. By the second stage. And you know what? I could be here. I could be on the first stage if I had gotten even just one goddamn. Okay. So, yeah. We're going to need. In order to max out on. And make sure that every enemy will always give me an item, I'm going to need. 67 56 leaf clovers. Incidentally, the 56 leaf clover item is, a re is actually a reference to the, uh, the thing, the world record for most leafs on a single clover. So it's an actual, so the 56 leaf clover is an actual real thing, or at least it was at some point. It's probably not, it probably doesn't exist anymore, unless it was preserved carefully. It might have been. But yeah. But, uh... But yeah, the first, like, 
50. The first, like, uh, 15 or so is all, are always the hardest. And then once you get, like, 15, that'll be... Oh, uh, 7 times 3 is 21. Yeah, exactly 25. 25%. And at that point, things get, Yeah, around that point, things get really, like, out of hand. You know, I... I don't know if I've mentioned this before already, but... I used to actually use, a. Uh, I used to roll out with Artifact of Sacrifice for this strategy. But then I realized, no, that was a stupid idea. Because Artifact of Honor with a 50, uh, even a single 56 leaf clover pretty much already has a... is already pretty much better than Artifact of Sacrifice is. Or roughly like that. Why isn't it hurting them? That was weird. So yeah, it's already like... It, it. And uh, art all Artifact of Sacrifice prevents me from getting a head start on stuff by grabbing chests along the way. Uh... Let's grab this, why not? More missiles is more good. And if I ever do- and when I eventually do start using lights out, with all the crowbars I'll have at that point, <laughs> it'll be they'll be crazy powerful since they actually the damage of the missiles is based off of the damage of the of the attack that proc them. What is what does proc even mean? Like what? Where is what does that word derive from? Proc. You know what? Let's go on. I'm getting bored beating up Lemurians. All right. I stand corrected. Beating up Lemurians never gets old. <laughs> More to the point, I'm, I was getting bored of beating up small numbers of Lemurians uh, uh, that spawned uh, occasionally. I could never get bored of mass slaughter like that. Oh, uh, if only I could make them spawn this fast all the time. Or at least most of the time. It does make it a bit hard to actually go for the items. Or at least a bit nerve-wracking to do that. Uh, more of that, why not? Wait, no, there was something I wanted. Eh, yeah, whatever. I wish I remembered where you put the thing every between the crates, you know? That way I wouldn't have to keep flipping over just to get, to get the same damn barbed wire. Oh well. Let me grab a few uh, fireworks too. Since we're gonna be going to a place that actually has things which can proc those. Yeah, that'll be funny. Jesus, look at all these! Oh, this is... This is not bad comedy, this is superb comedy. Closing in on being able to cover the entire goddamn world in this barbed wire. Now you, you can see now why I was so goddamn hyped about this strategy. This. This is power. Oh, Ancient Valley. This is an excellent place to farm. 
it's got a lot of like nice big flat areas and hey that's also a really good enemy to farm with i mean he does a lot he doesn't have the very low base damage of the lemurians but he's got their lumbering and slow attacks and lack of projectiles and dying instantaneously as soon as i see them huh Yep, that's the power of barbed wire. <laughs> and the best part is I don't even need to... I don't, I don't... I don't even need to, like, attack to do this. I can just... I can do this even if I were just... Standing still with the invisibility on. That's the beauty of it. Ooh. Anything I really care about? Uh, might as well grab this, why not? Probably not gonna be useful, but hey, it's gonna be increasing my base damage, which will be increasing my barbed wire damage, so. <laughs> Good time. Oh yes. Ah. Uh, oh baby, let the good let the good times roll. Or I suppose for them that would be the let the bad times roll. Oops. Eventually, gonna get to a point where I'm just I literally can't unbox them fast enough. Well, no, it would ha they would have to be spawning fast enough for that to happen. Which isn't really possible outside of teleporter events. Maybe if I waited, like, hours, maybe it would get to the point where the difficulty was so high that they were spawning that fast. But no, I think the difficulty tends to scale, it would just be, it wouldn't scale their uh, speed of spawning that fast, it would just make them really buff and still probably die in one hit to the barbed wire. Oh yes. More, more, more. How do you like it? How do you like it? More, more, more. And so on and so forth. Hey, this isn't actually a bad place. I mean, it's not quite as flat as the place up in there, but hey, it's close to the teleporter. And I'm already go vertically surpassing the screen. I bet. Hang on, let me. Yep, I can't see where it ends if I zoom in. I probably passed that point. Before I even reach the... I don't know, I can't even tell how many goddamn barbed wire I have! Because for some reason that item specifically is intersecting with the... I don't even know if these missiles are actually doing anything. They're ever procking. I'm like 99% certain bar barbed wire can't proc them, so... Kinda worthless, but... Honestly, most items are worthless at this point. All on-hit abilities have become essentially useless because I'm not hitting anything. It's dying long before I can hit it. Oh, right, that. Ha, difficulty, ha 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 ha, indeed. And yeah, okay, so 31, so that's 15 times 3, that's 45, that's 49. Alright, I just... 
I just need one more 56 leaf clover and I'll be above 50% drop rate. I wonder if barbed wire can crit. I have no idea. Let's find out. Ah, it's not like I don't have common chests to spare. I feel like I'm going spare. Look like it's, it's damage has increased. I have no idea. Oh, I got ten lensmaker glasses. That should be. I don't know, some amount of crit rate. Should be well above fifty percent at this point. So yeah, now I don't think they can crit. Oh well. It's not like I lost anything by doing that. Except like. 11 stacks of barbed wire. Who cares? <laughs> oh, I should... I should go for a couple of achievements that require specific items. Uh, I know one requires Monster's Tooth. And uh, Guardian Heart, but I already have that. Guardian Shield, rather. But I already have that. I'm worried about going for any of these. There we go, seven. There we go. The old vampire. That that unlocks a rare item which significantly decreases the uh, your cool all of your cooldowns. It doesn't have the sheer combo ability with with crit rate and all that that the uh, that the Wicked Ring has, but outside of cr a crazy crit rate builds, it's actually probably a lot better. Certainly a lot more reliable, especially if you're not constantly attacking. So why would you not be constantly attacking? <laughs> uh... So yeah, quite good. And of course it combos really well with Wicked Ring. <laughs> Naturally. If I had, if I, if I had that item back on that incredible pilot run with command and all that, then, then I could have got, gotten it to the point where I could, uh, where I would be able to literally never stop firing that secondary ability as long as there were still enemies to shoot it at. So unfortunately, the uh, the Wicked Ring only incre only reduces cooldowns by one second every crit, and that can't be increased. Only because the additional items of those will just increase your crit rate. It's kind of a gif, but all right. It doesn't even increase it that much, which is lame. Uh, uh, but and unfor and unfortunately. Pilot's uh, secondary skill has one fewer shots than it has seconds of cooldown. But with but if I had just one of these to reduce cooldown by thirty percent multiplicatively, uh, it stacks, uh, you know it stacks with itself by another thirty percent, but it stacks with itself multiplicatively, so it doesn't just straight up make your cooldowns. Uh, non-existent if you get four of them, sadly. But it does... <laughs> but it's close enough, pretty much. Ooh, I'm nearly to the point where it one-shots them. Which doesn't really ma- which doesn't really 
make a huge difference, but hey, it's funny. What other ones? What other ones can I get that'll increase the base damage that'll combo with this? I don't know. I should really be getting more of these. Well, I can. What other ones require specific combinations of items? Let me check. Huh. Alrighty then. There are no other ones. Funny that. It would be funny if there was an achievement for getting 67, uh, 56 leaf clovers. And just straight up having a 100% off chance. That'd be pretty neat. There should be like an alternate skin or something for, ba uh, for Bandit. Or, the, or something like that. That unlocks from... <laughs> I'm having that. Ooh. I can just barely see the corners of the barbed wire. Um, I don't know what to do with this. Fucking more charge of that. And just a little bit more. And there we go. It's completely off the screen. Uh, couple more for good measure, I suppose. And since it seems to be one-shotting everything... Yeah, there's a, a sec effectively no more, no point in getting more, uh, for now at least. If I get a hundred of these, I should have like a ninety-something percent chance of, <laughs> of dodging all attacks, and I'll still probably get one shot immediately by by the final boss. That's high luck. Okay, I think it might be getting to the point where I, <laughs> where I genuinely can't get uh, open them fast enough. Hey, what an odd coincidence! No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can do that. Uh, I, I need to kill. There's an achievement for killing like 12 people in, in one shot with that, but. How would I get 12 people on the screen at the same time? You know, suffering from success and all that. Jesus. It's too bad you- there was a thing in the- uh, there was this uh, odd little bug or maybe intentional design in the original where if you clicked A on thing when there was like- when they were stacked up on each other, you'd activate all- all of the stacked ones at once, and they don't. So you could get a whole bunch of things all, all of with one press, and that was nice. But alas, they t they remove that. They like to they remove anything fun. <laughs> I'll grab that. There's an achievement I can get with that. Ah, there you go. Let's go. If I can. And there they go. I surprised they survived more than one tick. Struggling to even get to these goddamn uncommon freights. Oh, 
more. 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 The ground will be blanketed in nothing but goddamn great. They will be goddamned. Oh shit. Sixty four. Sixty-five. I can't tell if there are any... There. If only the one that started on wasn't something that was almost worthless to me. Then I could just click A over and over and over again. I mean, I could do that, but... I feel like a bit of a waste. Not that I really have to worry about waste. Aha! Here we go. Sixty-six. Execute order sixty-six. I can't. 67! And now I have a 100% chance for the to drop item. In fact. Hmm. In fact, I think I pr it probably happened probably a couple, couple ones before that, now that I think about it. Doing the math here. But who cares? It is that way now, and that's what matters. Look at all these, like, these crates, like tombstones, for all the men slaughtered here. Slaughtered with nothing more than a vast field of barbed wire. And thus, I say, with an ass's jawbone, I have made asses of them. With an ass's jawbone, I have killed a thousand men. You know that old quote from good old Manx? I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me? Well, with this strategy, there is no ore. One more of those artifact shards. And then I'll get, uh, I figure what that is. Oh. 
I'm so fast, it's cumbersome. <laughs> Suffering from success and all that. Wow, an uncommon item. Just what I wanted. I've been running. I'm running low on items. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's just go. Grab uh, infusions as I go. Just to ensure that I don't die to something bullshit. I really wish I had unlocked Theo's best friend before doing this, but hey, uh, oh well. Oh shit. I don't even give a shit about all these items at this point. I've got so much. Fucking nothing matters. If I spend all this, if I spend any more time opening chests, well, I'd be spending all my time doing that rather than actually enjoying the fruits of my labors. I'm not that, quite that insane. That being said, I should really get more moves. I should really get more mobility. Uh, those. Another of those. There we go. Now that's mobility. Alright. Let's go. What is there? Yes. Now I don't even need to care about the parkour because I can just... There we go. Artifact of Spirit. Parkour that makes uh, both you and the enemies move faster at low HP. That's kind of neat. Aha, here we go. I don't really care about the rare item, but I do care about that achievement. Uh... Okay, more, more, more mobility. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh hey! Already at the boss. If you can call it a boss. It's uh, something, alright. There we go, I finally equaled one regular infusion, I believe. Man, if only there was an item that, incre that, that increased the speed of which a teleporter charge, because... Uh. I can't wait to see what this... How long... Uh, the final boss will, will face. What, uh, place your bets now. How long it'll take me to kill uh, his final phase. Five seconds? Th three seconds? A single tick of barbed wire? No, probably not. <laughs> it's not even one-shotting these guys. So if I get even more, maybe. Since I've got nothing else to do, might as well open a few chests, or crates rather.
All right, let's go. Now then. I don't even need to care about any of this shit. than I expected it to. Sure, let's go for Happiest Mask. Why not? It's so some shots for me. Let's see how far I can get without actually bothering with the, uh, with the opening the doors. Isn't that a beautiful sound? Oh! All the way to the final two doors, that's how far. Oh, it's a... Stay alive, what a joke. Wait, will the final boss even appear? I have no idea. Oh, hey! Log. Didn't I already get that log? I... Is it, it might be a different log, or it might just be that... Actually, before I do that, hang on. Equipment crate. I need an equipment crate. Oh, hi. No, that's a regular crate. Ah. Uh, damn it. One time I actually need one. I've got a plan. I want oh, I've got a th thing I want to test out. Right through the wall. Oh yeah. Star Wars, baby. That should... One time I actually wanted to come in craze. One time I can't fucking find any. God damn it. Oh wait, hang on, there's one. Nah, I could have done that better. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I want to test something. If this actually works, it'll be hilarious. I mean, if, if I can actually pull this off, this will be hilarious. Oh no, I don't think that would work, actually. I think- oh, because then- I was gonna think about, like, killing the entire boss before it ends, but I think the, uh, worms spawn off screen. What actually, with barbed wire, that might still work! Or- th or something like that. Yeah! This might still be feasible. Alright, let's try! Bonds. What the heck? Okay, that was weird. Okay, yeah, they spawn too far off screen. Darn. Or do they? Okay, yeah, just a bit. Challenge. No. No, this is not. <laughs> In the slightest. I don't even have to go out of invincibility. All right, let's see how many, sh how long it'll take the final thing to go. And one, 
second, two seconds. Oh, he's got fucking armor. Lame. Okay, so about about ten seconds then, and that's including his armor trades. Okay, that's a bit longer than I expected. A whole ten, maybe even eleven seconds. Very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> this is power. Unlimited power. Oh, the the rain in the background doesn't stop when I do that. That's lame. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, and so he left with his Pyrrhic Plunder. Yeah, Pyrrhic Plunder kind of describes that <laughs> strategy. It's absolutely brutal at the start, and it's very easy throughout a good chunk of it to die randomly. But, uh, and once you do finally get going, it's it, it, gets, it quickly gets so powerful as to be overwhelming so many crates everywhere faster than you can possibly take them and everything dies in an instant <sighs> it's not something i do all the time but every so often just boot up risk of rain and just Feel the sheer orgasmic power of it all. In a strange way, I am at peace. I pro I very well might never play the, uh, do this strategy ever again, not on uh, on YouTube for YouTube video at the very least. <laughs> it might get a bit dull for you guys, but <sighs> it was truly spectacular. So. Without any further ado whatsoever, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.